Hello beautiful people, in this video I will give you some tips and ideas on how to improve your aim against aircraft using anti-aircraft vehicles. Hope you enjoy. This is going to be a somewhat brief video because there isn't really that much to the topic but there's still a couple of pointers that I can give you that might help you out being able to aim and apply the correct lead or Kentucky Vintage in order to hit an aircraft with an SPAA. One thing that's quite important is to remember to use the correct ammunition. I'm not really talking about the effect the ammunition has on the target, but more the velocity. As you can see on the left, there's one of the fastest lighter calibers in the game, the American 12.7mm heavy machine gun. As you can see here, Velocity 929 meters a second, that is very fast. On the right we have the Swedish 40 mm ball force, and that is quite fast for such a large caliber, 874 meters a second. Now the ball force is used by a lot of nations, the US, the British, France, Japan, China and Sweden. They all use this 40 mm ball force cannon. So that's one of the factors. The faster ammunition you use, the less lead you need to apply in order to hit a plane. We always have this meme going around that one or another nation suffers because of this and that. But in this instance, Germany is actually the only nation that suffers when you're talking about ammunition for anti-aircraft vehicles. And specifically, I'm talking about the difference in velocity of the ammunition for the German SPAAs. Let's try to go to the German Ostwind. Now the difference between the ammunition types are actually pretty large and if you pick the wrong ammunition for anti-aircraft use you will definitely handicap yourself. So look at this. The Panzer Granate 40 which is used for anti-tank use, 770 meters a second and the fastest ammunition you can use for anti-aircraft use, 940 meters a second. And that 15% is actually quite a lot when you talk about how much lead you need to apply in order to hit a plane. Let me show you something. So I took out the Oswind on the practice range and I set the mode to arcade. This way you can get the lead indicator and try to look at this. The gray ammunition is the AP ammunition for anti-tank with a velocity of 770 meters a second. And the yellow ammunition is the HE ammunition with a velocity of 914 meters a second. Now try to look at the difference in how much lead I need to apply in order to hit the plane with the two different ammunition types. Those 15% actually means more than you would think. I made another video earlier where I talked more in depth about tips and tricks when we're talking about anti-aircraft vehicles. Uh, but I still in this video want to mention something quickly about the crew. I suggest that if you can then dedicate a crew just for anti-aircraft vehicles. Especially when you're talking about a new nation it will save you a lot of crew points if you do it the right way the first time. So go to the crew. And as you can see here, absolutely nothing in the driver, absolutely nothing in the tank commander, few points in the tank loader, I'll come to that in a second, and all my points is put into targeting. And let's look at it. The skill of gun targeting affects targeting speed and accuracy. So basically this means that this skill affects turret rotation, and the ability to train the gun both vertically and horizontally at the same time. 
So put all your points in here, and we're done with 5.0. I would suggest that you start throwing some silver lines after it, and ultimately some golden eagles to up the skill. Secondly on the list, go for weapons reloading on the tank loader, because there's a big difference with uh, anti-aircraft system how fast you reload. Now this Borforce cannon reloads very fast because it has very small clips or magazines, whatever you want to call it. As you can see here, 0 0.6 seconds. Now if you go to the United States and the ever popular M16, as it is right now, I'm sitting on a reload rate of 17.4 seconds. And let's try to look at the crew. And not only a half up, two and a half. Try to look at it, as you can see here, I can get down to 14 seconds, and then I can improve that further with Silver Lions and even Golden Eagles. So those two crew skills are the most important skills you can use for an anti-aircraft vehicle. So the ammunition type, how fast you can rotate the turret, and how fast you can actually put the gun onto the target both horizontally and vertically plays a big role. Another thing that's important in how easy it is to train and hit the weapon is how fast you can fire. So this variable wind is kind of a prey and spray, 4 barrels and 480 rounds a minute. And we switch to France, looking at the 40 mm Borforce, 120 rounds a minute, huge difference. And this is more like a precision instrument, but on the other hand, if you hit once with this 40 mm Borforce, you will shoot down the plane. One thing you can do is just go to test drive, set the difficulty to OK, just like I showed you earlier, and that will give you the lead indicator. You might have to press uh, T or whatever you use for targeting first, and this is going to be a great help. Depending on the range of the targets, as you can see here, the lead estimation can be pretty large, and sometimes even the entire length of the plane can fit into the circle. So it's not super precise, but it will definitely help you give you an estimation. So a single hit with a 40mm Borfos cannon is enough to bring down this BF-110. The last section of this video will show the US, Germany, Russia and the UK. For those nations, I will show you the lead indicator for the mostly used anti-aircraft systems with the fastest ammunition.
do me a favor and like, comment, subscribe and share. I've added some video links in the video description below, both for other relevant videos and for other ways for you guys to support the channel if you wish to do so. Until next time, remember to use your dive breaks. Have a good one.